Yesterday, Sundial had some earnings and they had some decent numbers come out. Taking a look at it, with a 10% increase in gross revenue to $73.3 million, with a decent amount of cash on hand, we also saw their net cannabis revenue in the fourth quarter of 2020 was $13.9 million, an increase of over 8% from the third quarter. So Sundial is a stock that has been trending in the right direction. Let's take a look at Sundial from a technical standpoint and see where this thing is headed. So I take a look at Sundial and I see it just turned red on the day. This is a stock that has a market cap of $2.5 billion and on a year to date, this stock is up 178%. I want to point out it has an implied volatility of 208%, meaning it's quite volatile, as well as a negative accumulation and distribution, meaning people are dumping their shares into this rally what was a rally now it turned red you can just see from october 30th this stock has ran almost to four dollars a 2700 percent gain had you bought in early november probably not but nevertheless this is a stock that has been quite hot in the past few months with some positive news out of earnings what are some key levels that this stock can potentially reach well, for this week, we'll just take a look. We throw it on an expected move, and we came into this week expecting 27 cents. That means the option market priced in either 27 up or 27 down. The upper edge is 169, and the lower edge is $1.15. Right now, we're sitting near that upper edge at $1.69. We're about 15 cents below that level, but it's positive on the week, so you can't get too mad at this stock today. However, it did have some decent earnings, as you saw in the beginning. So what are some other levels we could be watching out for? Well, let's throw this on a week to date and we put some drawings up. You can see that one sigma at $1.69. We got rejected yesterday and we haven't touched it in today's tape. The ultimate hang on level would be $1.24. It's quite a ways from current levels. However, ultimately the 61% Fibonacci at $1.82 is where we would like to be in the coming weeks. If we can get above that level, that's a great sign going forward. And this week's two sigma was about $1.96. It doesn't look like we're heading that direction, at least in today's tape. Now we zoom out a bit and we just take a look at these levels. So we want to hold $1.24. We'd like to get above a buck eighty-two. And ultimately, if we can get back to two sixty-four, this is a stock that could be breaching all-time highs in no time. Now, this is a cannabis play, and I think cannabis plays are going to be great in this year with Joe Biden as the president and the Democrats controlling the House and the Senate. So this is a stock that potentially could get some bills passed in their favor. However, when we see the market like today pulling back, you can see we're red in the S&Ps. We kind of reversed since the morning bell. However, the ticks are negative, and we just take a look. Financials are leading the way. Energy is lagging. Technology is lagging. Our big five is lagging. That's largely due to these bonds. Just take a look at these bonds dumping down almost 1%. What's that doing to our 10-year yield? It's up almost 5.5%, which is just tearing apart these growth stocks, which we're seeing that today. Just the Dow is our only index in the green. So going forward, look for these levels in Sundial, at least in this week's tape. It's having a positive week. Ultimately, we would like to hold $1.24. Getting above $1.82 is a very bullish sign. And if we approach that level, we could potentially see some momentum. Buyers push this thing back over to in no time. So there you have it for a stock today that was trending according to Yahoo Finance, and that was Sundial Growers. If you have any stocks that is trending that you would like me to talk about, some Fibonacci levels, where the options market is pricing in, comment it down below and I'll analyze it, just very short video, and post it. Other than that, I do daily stock market breakdowns from a macro perspective. If you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button and catch my breakdowns. I usually post around 5.15 every day. But other than that, guys, any questions or comments for me, leave it down below and I'll get back to you. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!